Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? Shouts out to Bob Marley, man. I'm like sitting here just chilling, um, <laughs> drinking some red wine. Just like brought back memories, man. You know, Bob Marley, man, is, um, I think he was like a, a trick baby, man. You know, his dad supposed to be like, um, was a 60 year old, um, British, uh, probably petty officer or whatever. And his mom was 19 years old, man. Country, it says she was a country bumpkin, you know. you know. So, I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment to anybody that lives out in the country. But, I guess that was the excuse of her being a 19-year-old girl, uh, you know, uh, sleeping with a 6-year-old, uh, well, getting knocked up by a 6-year-old British dude. But, you know, that's what it is, man, you know. So anyway, man, if you guys haven't heard, man, there was a fiasco down at the, um, you know, the White House. It was pretty much, to, you know, to me, it's like Capitol Hill, you know, it's like Capitol Hill. But, man, you know, I don't know, man. It's, um, There's a poem, man. There's a poem called, like, a, a Dream Deferred, man. Like, what happens to, like, a Dream Deferred? I forgot who wrote it. But you guys ought to check that out, man. You guys, you guys ought to check it out and read it. A Dream Deferred. Um, you, you gotta, I mean, it's a, it's a good read, man. It's a, it's a good poem. It's a good poem. And I guess that's the situation that's going on right now, man. Um, I guess you can say with, you know, people, um, who vote Democrat, man, um, especially, especially like black folks, man, a lot of this, like, uh, it's, it's like, uh, some of this is, is this uh, like an affirmation, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff, man, with the whole racism thing, man. It's like an affirmation, man. You know what I'm saying? They get like one incident where somebody's uh, being ignorant or stupid, man. It's like a whole. It's like it's it's like a lifelong confirmation, you know. This on um, like your experience, and everybody knows, man. That's. That's not like everyday experience. You get, you get what I'm saying? It, come, it comes in like bits and pieces, man. And sometimes um, you have a situation, man, where, you know, certain people, man, you know, they just, let's, let's be honest, man, they're just incompetent, man. You know what I'm saying? They're just incompetent, Okay. And they use race or sex or some kind of ism to justify, you know, their incompetence, okay, or their bad habits and stuff like that, you know. That's what it is, man. And then, um, you know, like some, some, and then some people, this human, man, they, they, you know, they're just going to lie, man. It, 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 people just don't realize, man, they lie to themselves all the time. You know, they lie to themselves all the time, man. That's, you know, that's what people do, man. They just lie. And they expect you to believe they lies, man. You know? They expect you to believe they lies. But I know that you know that I know that you know you're just lying to yourself. You know, <laughs> you just lying to yourself, man. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man, this dude here, man, uh, Trump was the, like, the last great American president, man. The last great American president of the United States of America, man. I'm telling you, man, this dude from the jump, he knew the system, it, like, I think everybody kind of, like, they knew the system was rigged, but everybody was kept, you know, playing along, man. You know what I'm saying? This one of the 
play along, to get along, and especially people that like with consp- conspiracy theorists and stuff like that, because I mean, you listen, listen. To, I mean, I mean, all the crazy stuff that's going on, man. Um, you let a conspiracy theorist explain something, man. It makes so much sense than what people are actually telling you. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it makes so much sense because a lot of stuff don't make no sense. But let a conspiracy theorist tell you something, and it sounds so true. And the lot of and, and it's because it's crazy, man. But a lot of well, a lot of people don't understand. The, the craziest, the, the craziest sounds, the the most likely is true. I'm telling you, man, it's, I'm telling you, it, it, it can sound crazy, but it's true. And they made it seem like Trump was crazy and stuff like that, but everything he said came to light, man. Everything he said came to light. And, you know, all they did was call him a liar, but... They never came up with no facts. No. It was all opinion based. It was, it was no 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 facts. This man only got what? Like a week left? You know, for 14 days left in office. And they want to enact the um, 25th Amendment. Now it's funny, man. They 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 come down fast, man, when it comes to these Republicans, man. But I can understand, man, why they'll come down fast on these Republicans, because the Republicans, man, you know, they they you know they 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 effeminate, man. You know what I'm saying, man? They they effeminate. They're so worried about reputation and whether they're gonna burn on the cross or go to hell or. You know, some brand, and they ain't got no brand. They brand is a uh, pretty much um, a feminine brand, man. It's anti-masculine brand. You get what I'm saying? So suit and tie. I want to uh, take it up the Keister brand. You know, and he had this man come around trying to teach these boys. How to be men, right? Donald Trump, man, came around trying to teach these boys how to be men. And what what do they do, man? They 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 run they run and hide, man, up under the, the skirt of the Democratic Party, man. And and ain't nothing there for them, man. Ain't ain't nothing there for them, but but bitching and moaning, man. I'm telling you, man, it's a product. Pretty much, it's pretty much a product of a fatherless home. That's what it is. It's a product of a fatherless home. No, a real man comes in, and what happens, man? All these motherfuckers want to revolt and shit. You know, that's what happens. Now, yeah, man, what's what's sad is, man, uh, Trump don't have no support, man. He don't have no support. Um, everything's stacked against him. They didn't think he was going to... I think they thought he was going to get in, man. I think they thought he was going to get in the first time around. But, um, yeah, I don't think they were... Prepared. I don't think the system was prepared. The system was prepared this time around, man. It was um, it was a it was a global effort, man. It was definitely it was definitely a, a global effort, man, to get him out. Okay, all right, because the United States of America is like the cornerstone. Uh, everything that's gonna go down everywhere else. All right. Why do you think they putting so much pressure on uh, Russia and stuff like that, man? You know, cause Russia they they they're not playing along like they're supposed to, man. 
you know, Russia's not playing alone like they're supposed to. Japan, India. This thing is real, man. This thing is whole. This whole thing is real, and China. They 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 kind of messing up. You know what I'm saying? They, they they you know they're the managers. You know, as far as like the, you know cheap labor and everything like that. But they kind of messing up, and it, their house of cards is about ready to fall, man. China. Now, um, what's what, what's going to happen, man? What's going to happen is that um, this dude, man, um, Joe Biden's going to get in. Ain't going to be no military coup or nothing like that. Tr- Trump ain't got no help, man. He, he ain't got no help. They 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 going along with the game plan, man. They been wanting him out. That's why the only thing they passed, the only thing they done since he's been in office was what the whole thing with the taxes, you know, for corporations. Other than that, that's it. They didn't get rid of Obamacare. None of that, man. They didn't get rid of none of that. They didn't do anything, you know. He had to do so much through executive order, man. But I knew, I knew, man, as soon as that uh, China virus, man, as soon as that CCP, CCP virus came around, I knew Trump was going to be out. I was like, man, damn. As soon as they start shutting down, man, I was like, man, this is all they, this, this is going to kill Trump. You know what I'm saying? Because he was doing everything right for Americans, man. Americans. And as soon as this virus came around, it was going to make it a big deal. And then, um,. Yeah, man, people are just gonna get like, oh, we're tired of Trump and all this other BS, man. And then, and then the cheating with the mail-in ballots. How this man gonna get extra million votes? But yet, this dude, Joe Biden, who who lost, who lost like five or six primaries in a row, you know, until South Carolina, right? And then what did he say? Uh, my state is a slave state. This guy. I'm telling you, man. I I don't know how like any um, decent human being, let alone uh, anyone who claims to be black, gonna vote for Joe Biden. But but that but that's who. But but that's how these you know black folks are, man. In the United States of America, that vote Democrat. As much as they hate the white man. They always expecting the white man to save him. See, see, don't, don't you see how sick that is? You know what I'm saying? Don't you see how sick that is? And as a man, how, how you gonna claim to be a man? You expect another man to save you, man. You get what I'm saying? You don't, you don't expect to be taken advantage of, man. You expect you know you expect this dude not to get nothing out of it, right? But but yet you know Trump is a racist, but yet they 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 still vote for a white man, a white man who said they ain't black, unless they um uh uh vote for him, and then for the brothers man it's even worse man, he and then he hires a he he hires a woman to be his vice president, right? But who put him on man? Who's the dude that put him on? Who, who's this dude that advanced his career and everything like that? It was a brother. See? It was a black man, wasn't it? Black man put him on. But he hires a black woman who's um who's already um conditioned. Just do, um, I'm just gonna say, man, sucking a white man's dick. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's who she's married to. She's married to a white man. So, wh- why not have uh, her as the vice president? You know, I mean, she's already, uh, you know, s- sucking off white boys. You know, not to say that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying that's where her mindset is at. And from my life experience, uh, Dealing with women like that, who, um, black women in particular, who prefer to date 
a white white man. They hate black guys, man. They, they, I'm just saying, from my experience, I ain't never been around one that was halfway decent uh, of a kosher that dated a white boy who treated me like a, a human being. You know what I'm saying? I never, never. The only, only, only black women I know that uh, treated me good and like done for me or uh, stuck their neck out for me was was sisters that that was boning black men that was having sex with black men. You know, even one sister I fall up with, you know, she got her African brother. You know, his other sister, you know, she probably had an attitude. You know what I'm saying? They had attitudes or whatever like that. But they they they. When when it came time to pour their love on a brother, man, they 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 pour their love on a brother, man. I, I give them that, man. They did, you know. They helped me out when I needed it, or, they, or when I asked them for something, you know, they they gave it to me. Or when I uh, needed uh uh some regarding like work, like in a workplace or something like that, man. The, the sisters looked out, man. The sisters did. I I say many of sisters looked out, but on top of that, and saying that they weren't effing white boys, man. They were effing brothers. You know what I'm saying? They're having sex with brothers, man. They like brothers. But I had, in no situation where I had a a, a black a, a sister that was dating white boys that treated me with respect. Or did anything for me. So, in saying that, brothers, y'all brothers that voted for Joe Biden, and you did it for Kamala Harris or whatever like that, you a goddamn fool, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to say that, man. You a fool. She even said it on tape. She on tape, man. She got receipts. She on wax, man. She put it on wax, man, on digital, man. It's out there in the it's out there in the, the the digital hemisphere that she says she ain't gonna do nothing specifically f- for black people and that being black people that being black men because you know she being a woman she's gonna cater to women and women being black women okay and guess what you just gonna be treated like a boy you ain't gonna get none of the power. You ain't get you ain't gonna get none of no benefits or nothing like that. You just gonna be in the outs, man. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna be in jail. That's it, man. That's all Kamala got for you is is a, is a jail cell. Yeah. That's it, man. Jail cell. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, that girl, um, Ashley. I think it's an Abbott or something like that. Ashley, man. She's a veteran, man. I ain't got a picture up, man. Let me see if I can bring her picture up. Yeah, here she go. Yeah, man. Here she go. Ashley. Ashley Abbott. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, how I'm, that's how I'm pronouncing her name, man. God bless her soul. God bless that woman, man. I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? She probably ain't my, even my type to hang out with. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't personally know her, but I'm just saying, you know, this says, uh, um, she's, she, she's, she's a veteran, man, but she was fighting for something, right? And then saying that, As far as like a person that's fighting for peace or fighting for freedom, let's just say that fighting for freedom, she's the epitome of that. Okay. All those people that uh, I don't care if they're Antifa or, you know what I'm saying, uh, Donald Trump supporters or deplorables or white nationalists or whatever like that. Well, Storming that Capitol building in D.C., that's 
that's that's that's it, man. That's that's the change. You know what I'm saying? But that I mean that's 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 the, that's the next level, bro. That's it. Because it was good for um. When they were attacking the British, it was all good, right? It was all good when they were attacking the British. And then we have a civil war. You know? Yeah, we went to war, man. So, it's change ain't going to come, man, unless you cr cracking some eggs, man. Unless you cracking some heads open. Change ain't going to come, man. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people say, oh, we don't advocate violence and stuff like that. But America was built on violence. America was built on violence, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a goddamn fool. Any any country or any nation you see right here today, man. I mean, look at look at, look at what's going on in Africa, Congo, and all these other places. Some of those countries are brand new and stuff like that. And they, they came about because somebody was kicking somebody's ass. Right? Just like Iraq and all these other places and stuff like that. All these colonies and stuff like that came up because... Yeah, imperialism, colonialism, and they came in and they were dividing up and they were doing stuff they didn't even understand, which don't make no damn sense. Um, I mean, at least you can, at least you can hand the Romans this they they did let people govern themselves. You know what I'm saying? They did leave the the politics to the to the locals. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but not these other other suckers, man. You you you'd think they would have learned from from the Romans, but but they didn't. But uh, yeah, man, they created other conflict and stuff like that. But yeah, man, so, so, some of these other joints, man, they they knew, man. I mean, I, I mean, that's why we had Hotel Rwanda and stuff like that, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, the genocide in Rwanda and stuff like that, because um, yeah, people doing stuff they, they they didn't understand, man. And that's what's going on right now, man. That's what's going on right now. A lot of people are pissed off because a lot of people aren't being represented. Okay. Um, yeah, Trump, man. You got a lot of people turning on Trump. I ain't turning on a man, you know what I'm saying? He's his own man, you know what I'm saying? He's a he's his own man. He's his own brand. He went in there on a on a shoestring budget and he pulled off the upset, man. You know what I'm saying? He pulled off the upset, man. He did something like a lot, lot of people couldn't do, and he he did it. You get what I'm saying? How how you want to end it? You gotta let him do what he do. You no, know, he got in there. He motivated a lot of people, and he he did, he did exactly what he said he was gonna do. Man, he said he's gonna fight for us, man. And he's he's telling us it ain't it ain't worth your life. You know what I'm saying? If he's saying it ain't worth your life, man, then don't do it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's saying. You know, he said, man, it ain't worth your life, man. Chill out, man. You know? Do I agree with that? Yes and no, but I understand where he's coming from. I understand where he's coming from. You know, what I'm saying he he don't want to be the um, the catalyst for a, a revolt. You know, what I'm saying he's he's an old man. He's thinking about his brand. You know, what I'm saying that's why we know him because of his brand, the Trump brand. That's how we know him, and he's got a family. He's got to think about. His family, they you gotta think about his sons and stuff like that. His sons are up in up in age. His sons are in their forties or whatever like that. His daughter and his 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 father's fathers and stuff like that. So he's he's got a lot to think about, man. Legacy and stuff like that. Um, a dude that's um, 
think hating on him, you know, throwing some shade his way, man. Seems like um, Steve Bannon, man. But but Steve but Steve Bannon, man, you know, it can be him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Steve Bannon is the extreme, uh, the extreme uh, right winger. Not 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 necessarily Trump. Trump is the negotiator, man. You know what I'm saying? This dude says he's gonna fight for America. He's like the dude that wants to make a deal. He's the he's the, the the guy that wants to make a deal guy. He's the suit and tie guy. Steve Bannon is the ex military, um, scraggly looking, um, uh, you know, right winger man. You know what I'm saying? He's the extreme guy. He was backing that dude. What was it in Georgia or whatever state that was? They had sex with a minor back in the day. He's he's backing that that guy, man. But it's okay, man. He probably didn't know. But yeah, man, all these people who are talking about, oh man, you know, all these conspiracy theories talk about, oh, Trump has got this, he's, he's going to get like all these people arrested and all sort of stuff, man. It's all like BS, man. This whole, the whole system is corrupt to the core, man. Like it's like beyond corrupt, man. It's, it's, it's like beyond sick. It's, it's like, it's nothing to save, man. It's really nothing to save. Nothing really to carve out um, and, and salvage, man. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing really to carve out and salvage, right? Because at every level, man, at every level, man, they was just, like, they was just in this dude's way, man. I'm telling you, man, even the justice system... They, were, they didn't even give this dude justice, man. All the dudes that was around him got arrested. But nothing that had to do with Russia, bro. But they arrested him and put them in jail any damn way. They put him in jail anyway, man. That's fucking sick, bro. And you had people that was justifying that shit. Saying he committed a crime. They still, they still want to put this man in jail, bro. This man might go to jail. They still got cases out on this dude. They still got cases out on this dude, man. Can you believe that? And they and and they ain't got no evidence. And they know they ain't got no evidence. They said that since day one, since 2015, you got it on wax. On wax, niggas investigate them, say they ain't got shit on him, on wax. And they mem- own memos and they own notes. Okay, they ain't got nothing on them. They know what this dude eats for breakfast for the past four years. They got all his phone calls. Everybody against him. Everybody he talked to snitching on him. And yet, people still saying he a criminal. You can't make this shit up, bro. I don't know how. I was like, how is this dude committing any fucking crimes when he ain't got nobody on his team? But him, maybe his wife, and Jared, you know, Jared, I don't even trust his ass, man. You know, so, so he got his, his uh, all he got his, is his kids. You get what I'm saying? All he's got is his kids. And Eric Trump, he didn't even want to be involved in this fucking bullshit. He just wanted to make some money. He's like, man, we can't even make no money. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think about all this bullshit, you know, what's coming next, man. Because I I seen some movies, man. I think it was, uh, what's the guy's name, Clyde Owens or something like that, man. Crazy stuff, man. But, but yeah, man, if, if this is what people want, man, they want the president to be banned by Twitter, Mark Zuckerberg. You want Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey and 
all these other yahoos, man, Google and stuff like that, telling us we can't listen to the president, them banning people and stuff like that, because that's what they're doing on YouTube, man. They're censoring us on YouTube and shit. And y'all want that to be the future and stuff like that? Like, they got it over in China and stuff like that. Because you know what's coming up next, which they already got in abortion clinics, is organ har- harvesting. That's up next. That's coming up. Organ harvesting. Harvesting people's organs. You already got it, pretty much, with organ uh, don- donors. You know, they say there's organ donating, but who knows? It's probably organ harvesting. You know what I'm saying? It's probably organ harvesting, for all we know. We don't know what they do with the dead bodies and stuff like that. Ain't nobody check, checking to see if somebody's heart is still there in their body and stuff like that. So, let me know what y'all think, man. I, I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.